Hey, good afternoon, y'all. This is Carolina Weather Authority meteorologist Joshua Nagelberg with the latest on what's going on in the tropics here in the Atlantic Basin. And we've got ourselves another storm, uh, depression, which is about to be a tropical storm. We'll find out tonight if it in fact is. Uh, but things are still very busy here in October over the Caribbean and eventually the Gulf of Mexico. So for the latest on the tropics, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel for the latest. And uh, we'll talk about stuff going on in the Caribbean, the Gulf, and across the Southeast Coast for the most part. And uh, let's take a look at our latest article, which is talking about a new cyclone, Tropical Depression 25. And I will show you guys what we're looking at with the track here. So right now we still have a depression in the uh, Northwest Caribbean. It formed earlier today. Uh, but I think it's very close to tropical storm strength and very well maybe. We haven't had a plane in there yet. There was one supposed to go in this afternoon that had to turn back because of maintenance issues. Another one just left Mississippi. It'll get in there this evening. And we may find this as a tropical storm before the end of the evening. Uh, so here's our track. Uh, likely to move up very close to Cozumel and Cancun tomorrow. And I do think this will be nearing hurricane intensity. There's very warm water down in here, low wind shear uh, for the next day or two. So this thing could definitely be strengthening. It doesn't have a ton of time to do it, but it is in the right place in the basin to do so. The track continues where it's going to be getting to a point in the southern gulf where it's going to run into this front as well as a building high pressure ridge aloft and it's going to get to a point where it's very unlikely to continue towards the gulf states it may get a little bit close but right now our official forecast turns it back to the west when it does that it's likely to move into an area of much drier air behind this front and some southwesterly wind shear so it's unlikely it's going to stay hurricane intensity all the way over to by the time it potentially gets to mexico or maybe deep south texas Right now in the United States, I think our biggest issue is going to be rain, and I think that's mainly going to be across Florida here over the weekend into next week. Some of that moisture is going to spread up the southeast coast this weekend along this boundary, and a little bit of a weak low pressure system may form as well um, as a trough swings by to the east and uh, creates some, uh, uh, some conditions which could allow a weak area of low pressure to form. Nothing major or tropical at this point. Uh, but um, if you are planning a beach trip this weekend, do be prepared for some not-so-pretty weather uh, as clouds are going to streak northward, and then it looks like a little rain comes up the coast here by Sunday into early Monday, especially for the Outer Banks. Uh, so that's what we have on tap here. Florida not looking great at all this weekend, except maybe the Panhandle where it's still pretty dry. Uh, looking okay across the rest of the Gulf states, and in Mexico we're watching if this thing could strengthen all the way up to hurricane strength which some of our models do show. The official hurricane forecast track does not get it to that point. It has a tropical storm up through landfall tomorrow afternoon. We have a tropical storm warning for the northeastern Yucatan and tropical storm watches surrounding it. Um, and it keeps that strength right on into the end of the weekend. And then the left turn is expected. I am going to show you guys some models that show uh, certainly um, that there's a potential it could try to get up to category one strength still could intensify fairly quickly due to the fact that it's in a very favorable spot to strengthen uh look at the um gefs the ensemble forecast system shows several tracks are unlikely to send anything up to the northern and eastern gulf states but maybe something close to louisiana or texas more than likely though we think the track is going to keep it south of this 26 north and keep it over the western gulf and a few tracks do take this thing over land and keep it there where it should weaken and just be a remnant low, which is actually really bad news if you're in Mexico or Central America. It could be some tremendous amounts of flooding down in here with a slow-moving system drifting west. But, of course, better news in the Gulf Coast states. So here is the satellite view. Um, first, I'll show you our depression. It looks kind of like it may be um, intensifying here. We've got cloud tops that are shooting up thunderstorms here before sunset. Um, a plane on the way in, we'll find out more. Um, but it's not, a, it is banding, but it's not a large circulation. Still has a chance, though, as it drifts this direction over warm water to intensify right up to landfall. And I have seen uh, the HWERF model show that, and the HMON for that matter. And those models are our tropical regional models that have typically done well across the Gulf Coast during this season. Uh, behind this system, and this, by the way, is the front that's kind of protecting the northern Gulf Coast, if you want to call it that. Um, we've got a, a little bit of a break around Jamaica and the Southwest Caribbean, then another wave, which has actually got two pieces to it. One, which is likely to come through Puerto Rico and move up in this direction and here, and the other is going to track behind this depression and could become our next system, which Delta is the next name on the list. And if you've watched my videos earlier this week, you know I've been talking about those 
uh, about both of these systems. The second one potentially being something we're watching as well, but it's got a few days before it does anything really. Just going to produce rain over the central and eastern Caribbean. Eventually, Jamaica is going to get drenched, Cuba will get drenched. And then by the time it gets over to where this storm is now, and then especially the Gulf, it may have a chance to develop once this one gets out of the way. It's got to wait for the first system to get out of the way before a second one can form. And oh, by the way, from this giant gyre here we could have a third system forming on the pacific side but no threat to us behind that we've got another wave over the central atlantic no threat at this point to land probably if it does develop it's going to go in this direction east of bermuda um, and then everything quiet over the u.s right now we're protected by a large trough of low pressure aloft all right so here's the water analysis ocean analysis shows very warm water right in here our depression's down here it's going to go over the warmest parts of the um, atlantic basin so we do think it could strengthen steadily once that core grows, which could happen tonight uh, and certainly into the morning tomorrow. So I would not be shocked if we had a hurricane as on the approach to the northeastern tip of the Yucatan here tomorrow afternoon. Definitely prepare for that. Even though right now we just have a tropical storm warning out, I would not be surprised if this storm tried to overachieve in the 12 hours leading up to landfall. And that should not be a surprise to anybody. We've seen a lot of storm strengthen in the, in the hours leading up to landfall. Um, Look at the ensembles here do show this system uh, coming near the Yucatan and some model tracks taken into the central Gulf, others back in this direction. Uh, but you can see there's obviously going to be some spread by Monday and Tuesday. Here's the second system we're watching north of Jamaica. Uh, could see low pressure coming across in this area. So here's the first potential storm, Gamma, and this one is Delta. And uh, Delta is the one that would be more of an issue potentially for Florida and the northern Gulf, as you can see. Here's Delta and here's Gamma, whatever's left of it at this point. Uh, so that's what we've got to watch here over the next couple of days. A lot of uncertainty, so there's no slam dunk. But if you're anywhere in the Gulf Coast states, don't let your uh, don't let your guard down just because it's nice out there now and the front is pushed south. We definitely could see how that can change over the next several days. Um, here's a look at the Canadian model. Not the best model in the world, but it's done okay. At least looking at the general picture, it's been improved. And it doesn't really develop anything out of potential gamma, but we're watching the next system, Delta, uh, which could be in the central Gulf here by Friday. And then that could turn up toward Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and the Florida Panhandle over the weekend. So for Columbus Day weekend, we could have a system up here to keep an eye on. Some, some model runs were actually more intense. This one is not as intense. We'll take the second one, of course. Um, what we are going to see is rain coming up through the Outer Banks here this weekend. Uh, maybe a little bit of light rain Saturday evening. Uh, more likely to see that rain by Sunday morning. Hatteras could have a tenth or two tenths of an inch of rain out of this, and perhaps the heavier rains come uh, later in the day or at night. Some models show this farther northwest, so it could be a little rain, could be a lot, uh, but much of it's going to come Saturday afternoon and night. Um, we'll look at the European model, which here you can see the circulation right now of future gamma uh, weakening over the Yucatan and not a whole lot left, just some lower pressure in the Bay of Campeche on Tuesday and nothing to threaten the Gulf Coast. Here's lower pressure, though, for the next potential system coming up on Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And the European does not, at least at this run, develop it, um, but does have lower pressures. So it could resolve something in here by next weekend and, and into Columbus Day on the 12th. So if you're anywhere from Louisiana to Florida, I think you need to be watching that second system. Uh, the ensembles do show that. Here's the first system starting to turn off to the west, we think. Second system coming up here and maybe Florida, but perhaps more of the central Gulf is a higher likelihood. And of course, uh, the, the, um, the amount of certainty decreases quite a bit as we head on towards Columbus Day weekend. Uh, one last thing I was going to show you guys, the European uh, ensemble probability of a tropical depression. We already have one, so of course it's high, but you can see it heads to the southwestern Gulf. Um, maybe we've got something coming up in here, but here's the second system that we're watching. And uh, that northern edge, we'll have to keep an eye on it, trying to develop on the east side of Florida. That's something I'm also going to have to watch for you guys. More likely the Gulf, though, it seems to be the magnetic area the last two months. Um, and the northern Gulf Coast, anywhere from, say, intracoastal city over to maybe the big bend of Florida, um, should be watching this for next weekend, maybe a potential impact at that point. And the reason why is we've got this trough that is uh, going to be lifting out high pressure aloft builds westward across Florida. That protects the northern Gulf Coast early next week. And we've got high pressure aloft, which should warm up the plains and areas over to the southeast by Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But this ridge starts to lift out next weekend. We've got general troughiness under the ridge, and that could attract something to come up in between a weaker ridge over here and a fairly strong ridge back over to the high plains part of the United States. 
Um, so it doesn't take a giant trough to swing it northward. It's going to be a weaker trough, which means less steering and more time to watch and maybe some more time for intensification over the Gulf of Mexico. So we are going to watch our aircraft. And if you want to head to tropicaltidbits.com, you can follow this plane. This is the second attempt to get in there. It's got a while before it'll get into that storm. Probably won't be until around dark tonight. Um, but we'll find out more and see if we have a tropical storm or not. Uh, and even if we don't, it will be intensifying, we think, tonight into tomorrow. So that's all I have for you folks. Uh, please uh, watch, um, watch our videos on YouTube and subscribe to our channel and go to carolinawxauthority.com to read up on uh, what we're expecting with uh, Gamma. And we'll have more coming up once we have more of an opinion of what might happen with Delta. You've kind of seen some of my earlier videos, which, um, of course, I'm not going to say, um, not gonna say it's uh, certain at this point, but in the Gulf, uh, this is just the first of potentially two systems. All right, folks, you all have a great weekend, and uh, we'll talk soon. God bless.